Good Thank morning, you. good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, fine and dandy. Very good. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Well, funny enough, me and all. Oh, oh sniffing and like. Aren't we alright? Marvellous. Just, in, just, germs, <laughs> just, just in time for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not usual at case, isn't it? Yeah. So, let's have a look at our reflection from last time. We left it quite open Got today, didn't we? That's alright. Yeah. I've written some down, what I think. Okay, you want to feel more confident changing gears, junctions, roundabouts. Do, 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 do. So that all worked. Okay, cool. Really enjoyed the lesson because you needed to feel more confident about changing gears and that helped 100%. Excellent. You like learning new things? Cool. I think surprised how easily he adapted to the gear change problem, stroke solution. Oh, Bob was fantastic helping me achieve what I wanted. <laughs> Bob believes in me and this helps me believe in myself. Well, there you go. Ten, ten smiley face. Yeah. That was a smiley face, isn't it? It's good. I mean, it's, you know, you're doing the learning here. It's, uh, my, my role is really just to support you and, and, and to sometimes perhaps offer suggestions and stuff, but it's, it's, it's you that's doing all the learning, really. So, I mean, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed last week's as well. It uh, came away from it thinking, yeah, that worked. Yeah. So, any thoughts? We didn't put a plan together for today, did we? I put, um, so like more and more practice, possibly more maneuvers Higher speeds and gear changing. And junctions okay. I haven't done before. Like when, when obviously when it came, my dad and that I see, and I'm like, all right, I've done that before. Just a couple of junctions around town and that, okay. that I've done. Just things like that. I don't know. I, it was completely like we just left it, didn't we? Didn't know what we, we did. Were we do. did. Well, I'm, a, I'm, I'm happy to go with, you know, what, what you feel that you, you need work on. So looking on here, a bit more practice, possibly more. Extra junctions I don't really need for. practice on manoeuvres, I don't think. I'm I think I'm quite confident at that, that really. Yeah, well I mean what we need to do really is as we as we prepare for, for a test. You know, I mean, we always say that it's not about the test, but you are gonna have to undergo an assessment. That's what the test is. Mm -hmm. Um that's matched against certain criteria. Uh, so at some point what we'll probably do is is I mean we do a lot of that anyway, we'll just let you get on with it. But we'll maybe set it up so that we're then going to do that under test type conditions. Yeah. Uh, where I'll not talk to you and I'll just sit and mark what happens. Um, how would it be today then, do you think, if I could make a suggestion, if we just did some, um, again, some higher speed work, maybe some roundabouts and stuff you've not done before, uh, go out on a route that we've not done before. Um, I was thinking if we left from here... Like country roads and stuff. Yeah, bits and pieces of that sort of stuff. If we went from here through to Featherstone. Um, I just think, and then we can go, there's some higher speed roundabouts at the back end of Normanton. Oh, that we yeah, can yeah. do, and then come back through perhaps Escape, and yeah. then back across that way. That gives you lots of, lots of different types of roads. Yeah. We'll also deal with traffic lights, pedestrian crossings, roundabouts, faster moving roads, country roads. New places. Um, and places that you've perhaps not driven before. Does that sound like a... Well, I had to remember. <laughs> and it gives us then probably, except manoeuvres, it gives us probably one of everything. Um, that sound like a reasonable plan? Yeah. Um, you want to do a bit more independent driving, so if I just gave you the direction, you know, follow the signs towards such and such and let you plot your own way. Yeah, to so Dev, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then as we sort of change direction again, just give you the... Um, maybe follow the signs towards, and then when we're finished over at Norman, and follow the signs towards to go, Castleford. Um, could I go the Ponty Race course, like that, that, that way? Because that's a long road. I, you know, oh, well, we could. You want more. Um, no, no, that's fine. I mean, because I was going to come back that way, but we can go out that way and do the loop the other way around. It's six and two threes, really. Yeah. And then that gives you... Six and two threes. <laughs> six is the same. same as two threes. <laughs> So I've just heard that before. Oldy worldy saints. <laughs> I learn something new every day. There you go. Every day's a school day. But we can quite easily just go out that way um, and then pick up the, the Norman and stuff and come back through Fev. So it's yeah. just the same, just the other way around. Um, yeah, we can do that. Easy peasy. I suppose if we're going to go out that way as well, we're going to maybe cut up through town and go up past the bus station because that's going to be busy with all the Christmas shoppers yeah. and stuff. It gives you a bit more of a challenge. But and you then, can't get round that way, can you? Um, we can. It's... But it's we need to go past the office underneath where the Queen's is and double back out that way. I'm confused. You have to, when, when I get there, okay. you have to well, tell yeah, me. Yeah, no so. problem. <laughs> so we can do that, and then it, perhaps at the end we can have a look at where we think we are and what we need to work on and all that kind of stuff, or what you feel we need to work on. Should we stick with our standard 
Just leave you to get on with it unless unless um, it looks like you need help or if you shout up for help. Put key in it out. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Tends to. <laughs> So if we navigate our way perhaps over to the cobbler and then into town that way. Oh, so down cobbler and then that yeah, way. Then oh, the main road, that's then a town long way to town. It is. Good, well done. But it gives us uh, mini roundabouts then as well. Where are you going, oh, it's Brian. See what he's doing. I couldn't work it out, fellow. What on earth is he doing there? <laughs> well, there you go. It's a fine idea. So, you plot your own way to the cobbler. In fact, yeah, if we go down to the cobbler and then up to the bus station, is that enough direction? <laughs> yeah. Start. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I was going to ask you to pull him back in the car at some point and didn't do one of those. <laughs> you saved me the bottom. It's very kind of you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I just must have known. Approach to the junction back there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I could feel when you saw the kid. Yeah. Because you reacted to it. Which is great. So if I'm sitting here in the passenger seat assessing your driving and notice a change there, and I also notice why you've done it. So that gives the guy sitting in this seat a bit of confidence to think, oh, okay, you know what you're doing. You've spotted the same hazard that I've spotted. 
And that man, did you see him or not? Did you notice that car before me? I don't know. <laughs> Competition class. Well, we can make it one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just interesting as you as you've got stuff locked into your subconscious, if you like. Yeah. Then yeah, you've got more time to think about the stuff that might cause you an issue. Is he coming too fast now? No, I think I'm So the, the stuff that you were doing there, like the slowing the car down to give yourself a bit of time and working it out, happens automatically now. Yeah. And you've got the time then to think, okay, what is that guy doing? Is he travelling fast? Is he travelling slow? Not very good. Thank you. station from here. nicely. Looked like you were going to go and then you changed your mind for a moment. What was it made you change your mind? Mm -hmm. um, well oh God, that car. The red one, yeah. It's good. So all that information transmits itself to across here because I can see what you're doing and I can have a reasonable idea why you're doing it. Bus station up that way? Uh, no, because we've got the traffic lights. Okay. You could go that way, but this way is tougher. Yeah, I like a challenge. Well, the road itself is fairly straightforward. What is it you think that makes the difference going up this way? That causes it to be more troublesome? Because it's uphill. Mm How -hmm. oh, does? Uh, I don't know. Kamikaze pedestrians don't help. Yeah. And this time of year, they're not really paying attention. I'm going to decay, am I? Yep. much room there, did he? Mm. And of course, these sort of situations don't help either. It's a fantastic hill start. Interesting place to park causes lots of issues for people. We always come across them in here. We do. We always do. Um, tend to find that one right shooting. Doing this, hazard perception video. Stopping and starting on hills. I don't like this. It's my, oh. my new thing. Alright, okay. 
That's my new thing I don't like. one of those things, you know, he's saying that you don't like doing that. From this seat, it all looks fine. So I would never, it would never occur to me that you were worried about that because you do it. So calm. <laughs> the right call. They've slowed down a bit now, but they were probably motoring at first. Good stuff. Right, now I do I go? So, what we'll do is when we get past the office here, we'll see where the parked cars are, that's the first road. We'll take the second road on the right. situation with the wagon close by and you know, a lot of traffic about. It's good stuff, well done. Get the hang of this driving along. Not bad. Should I be in third? What do you think? The kind of borderline one, isn't it? It could be, but second's working okay as well, isn't it? Oh, this is weird. Yes, you get an early look at the traffic. As you can see. It helps. Did I indicate now when do you think? No, we'll follow the road ahead. Oh. I thought we were going to Fev. Ah, eventually. Oh. <laughs> oh that would be too easy. Alright, you take me out round about. <laughs> Some flashing lights up there.
So again, kept yourself out of issues. Very close to it. Yes. Not a lot you can do about that though. So we'll follow the Saints to escape. So what can you do to to keep yourself safe in those situations when you've got somebody driving that close behind? Any idea? Do you know, you know, know. Well, like, can do if they get close to their mm. All you can do, you can't do anything about him. Mm. All you can do is allow yourself a bit more time so that you're never going to be forced to break hard. If you oh, break yeah, hard, he's straight in you, isn't he? Like well, a situation like that, where you're only going to be stopped just a moment, it's all okay not to. Really? Uh, if, it's, if, you, if, if you're thinking, should I, shouldn't I, you've probably got enough time to. Yeah. If that makes sense. So we'll take the road to the right, please. It's the fourth exit. It's just getting that clutch control as well, isn't it? So you can set off it. Again, if you you know if you need the time to, to find the bike or something, I'm not sure whether the car is going to pull. Next one, right. So if there's any doubt in your mind, stick it up. It's nice, isn't it, when you're on a pedestrian, somebody stops and lets you cross, you think, oh, yeah. isn't that nice? You might have brightened their day a little bit. <laughs> I, I pressed the brake instead of the accelerator. You're not the first person to do that, and you'll not be the last. God, I can't believe it. <laughs> you worked it out, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> Follow the road ahead of this one. No, no, <laughs> it's under control. Going away, I don't know if he's not indicating. Oh, he is. Get wound up myself now. Well, it's it's easy to it's easy to be annoyed with yourself, but it's just it's it's a learning trigger. We'll go right at the roundabout and get follow the saints towards Castleford. Is it still twenty miles an hour now? What do you reckon? I don't think the signs round here are terribly good. I think the, the initial 20 is too close to the roundabout, and they don't make it as clear as they could do where it ends. Which one? Not this one, the next one. Second exit this time. Yeah. So you've got the first one. It's not really a proper exit, but it's 
the signs for leads. So what we're hoping for, of course, is somebody coming up from there and going down the road we've come up that might give you a break. The first one didn't help because he wasn't signaling, but the second two did. So we'll follow this around God's head towards the end. I couldn't see his indicator at all then. No. Did he even indicate? No. It makes it awkward when they're positioned like that because he, the physical location of the car made it look like he might come around. Is there anything else you might have done to help you come in there, do you think? Slow down early. Maybe. Or, there's also the potential you could perhaps speed up a little bit and get there before he does. Oh, really? So either way could work. But the information you were getting from him. Hey, it's cattle and it's going fast. There you go. <gasps> oh. There you go. <sighs> what happened there? Panicked. Well, but again, you saw it. Right around here, it is five. No. Fifty. Oh, we're on a single carriageway now, are we? Yeah. National speed limit. I can't even say it. The national speed limit would be 60, but they've, they've taken taken a little off. But up to that sign was 30. Right. Following the signs, the Norman. Nobody does 30 on this road. <laughs> so you are actually at the right speed. Roundabouts that we're going to do up here are on slightly faster moving roads and slightly bigger. So again, we'll follow the sense towards Norman. Straight ahead. Second exit. Because I'm, I'm more in second, and it's straight down from first. Yeah. 
And when I'm in, th- and it's obviously it's straight down from. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And I feel like I've got to push it that way, but it's not. It's straight down. It is. Follow the same towards Wakefield this time. easier if they did, wouldn't it? You can only work with what you've got. So how were the last few roundabouts? How they worked for you, do you think? Alright. Um, <laughs> this can be... Trouble going into that fifth gear. So I'm not used to going in it. If you lose, if you lose your place, if you like, you know, think of where I'm at. If you take it a neutral and let go, it'll drop straight from the third gear. Say that again. So if you take it a neutral, it'll go into and let go of it. It'll go straight from the third. Right. So then you can work out where you are. Every car in the world's the same. Um, apart from manual. Uh, yeah. Automatic. Automatic. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? It was a stone coming off the tyre. So what we'll do is walk all the way around the roundabout, come back down this way. So because we're carrying a bit of extra speed, you might not even need to go to second, maybe third might do, depending on what you see when you get there. So you might want to change now. Okay. Can you go? Yeah. Can I? Yep. So you've used the momentum of the car to slingshot you through. And as you can see, how does the car feel in this gear? It does not always work. But I would have done it then, wouldn't I? I don't think you've done it. Exactly Do you right. think? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> what would you improve about your approach there, if Sorry. anything? Maybe. What would you do? Well, there's, a, there's the potential, because you can see from a fair way back, um, to find a gap. So it took ourselves to the left straight away. So yeah, you're saving yourself from being overtaken on the left. Just in case somebody fancies the idea. <coughs> oh, take leak off. So because you get the view early, you can maybe... So instead of looking for cars, I may make a suggestion, look for gaps. Right. Is there a gap I can get into? And then you can adjust your speed and then the gear and all the other stuff that goes with it. It's just slightly different to a normal junction because you do get the chance to keep it moving. Slow down. Um, 
Well, you've got to fit in with the gap. I would be maybe just taking a little bit of speed off now. Right. Try a third. Can you go? Yeah. So the momentum of the car is going to slingshot you around. But the position you were at there, you could have also quite easily stopped, couldn't you? Yeah. Got it in the first. They do give you more opportunity to keep moving. protecting your position here on the left. So as soon as you've gone past the, the road before yours, start looking because people, because they see the L plates, they will try and overtake yeah. you on the left. So the gear's feeling now. This gear, I'm in fifth, because I'm going from like, like the last time. How, how does the car feel? Feel like you're in the right gear at the right speed? I am now, but no, I won't be in a minute. <laughs> It'll trundle on its way up when I slow down. I'm going to find a gap. Okay. I'm not going to do it in fifth though. <laughs> no. So you see the car's coming to the right, and then you can see there's a gap after all this one. Can you, can you match it? Approach to the gap, do you think? So names he can, so names he can't. Like I say, sometimes he gives you the opportunity to do that, sometimes he doesn't. Spotted though. No, you're alright. If you if you have a look, it's on the path where they've cleared it off the road. Alright, I well, didn't want to well, you it. No, no, it's well spotted. So, how did that feel, all of that? It's just scary when people are behind you, isn't it? Well it adds, it puts pressure on, doesn't it? Mm. But 
I don't know what I'm going to do without you, Bob, when I'm going to drive. Like, well, let me ask you a question. There's one or two things that, that, that didn't go the way that you'd planned on the drive across here. Um, did you sort them out? Yeah. Did I say anything? No. What do you need me for then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what gear are we in? <laughs> I know what gear are we in, really. Well, Just... I, to be, be honest, review the videos. I don't answer your question. So, what do you think? And you work it out. So the the difference really is it's the it's that feeling of being pressured, isn't it? Yeah. It's it takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, I'm sure you will. It's just you just got to do it more. Yeah. Um, you know, I'd say if you if you look at it in terms of I'd say think about something from work. You work in retail. Mm. The first time you had to deal with a customer complaint, how was that? The pressure that comes with that somebody shouting at you, maybe not being very oh, nice. First time I had to do that were at job center and yeah, that wasn't nice. Like, oh. <laughs> but how would you deal with that now? Oh, I'd be fine. You just sort of, wouldn't you? Yeah. What makes the difference? More practice. You've just done it more? Yeah. You found different ways of doing it, different ways of handling things. So it's really in order to help um, with those situations, you've got to try and maybe think about, well, why did I feel that way? What was it that made me feel that way? And then once you've recognised what it is that makes you feel that way, if that happens again, what can I do to help, uh, to help myself? Mm -hmm. um, and it's by working those things out that makes you a, a better driver. You know, we get that reflective practice going and think, okay, that happened. Felt a bit tense there, maybe grip the lever a bit hard maybe. What can I do next time? Well, you've got to, you have to make the conscious effort to not do what it yeah. is that's causing you the issue. But that's easier said than done. But it's, have you been safe while we've been out and about? Yes. Hmm. We haven't caused anybody any issues either, have we? No, when they mm. could have been allowed. Mm. So, other drivers, it's other drivers, it's not us. It's it always it. A, I'm alright to others. But it, it's <laughs> people <laughs> people don't always do the right things. Um, like the guy parking the wagon. I mean that's you know, there's been no consideration for other road users there. But that's standard. Um, all you can do is do what you're doing and try and, you know, lead by example if you like. Mm -hmm. But it's um, Road rage is a terrible thing, and it's. Uh, I, I know have I to... saw, didn't I? <laughs> Never. No. <laughs> Not on the camera. <laughs> it's difficult sometimes to fight the urge to get annoyed with people. Um, and we we'll have a chat about that. While we'll just give you a couple of minutes break. Um, and I find myself sometimes thinking, oh, really, really. But if you think about it, if you get annoyed with them, yeah, it has no it, impact it, on them, does it? It affect, might affect your driving. It can, and it, it people. People do get involved in accidents because they're still so angry. Uh, so while you're driving, it's it's you have to control your emotions, or you have to try to. It's not always easy, um, you know, because people will do some silly things to you. But allowing yourself to kind of rise to the bait, if you like, can yeah. cause all manner of issues. Uh, so you just got to think, I must be a good driver on a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> all of them got bad days. <laughs> Absolutely. And I mean, you know, this time of year as well. Everybody's in a hurry to get somewhere. I've got to park here to close the shop somewhere. So, would you like to do any more of that? Are you happy with that? I'm happy with that. Okay. Yeah. Well, from here, if we work our way back down to um, where Victoria Garden Centre, through Featherston, there's pedestrian crossings, there's traffic lights, there's temporary roadworks. Yeah. Um, there is. And we're liable to hit quite a bit of traffic on the way. Right. Can you navigate your way from here? Would you like to navigate your way from here? Yeah, I think I know where I'm going. Okay. If I'm going up, but there's, there's different ways. I'm used to going to like Aikton, like further, further that way, but it's I've never actually been that way to, to Victoria Garden Centre, so. Okay, well, do you want me to give you guidance till we get yeah. into Feb and then you take us back from there? Yeah, I'm alright. Okay. Oh, sorry, nearly forgot. Quick question. The um, Obviously, I've been sat watch, watching and thinking, okay, everything's working okay. A question on signalling. Sometimes. I've observed you leave the signal quite late, and then other times you don't. What is it that influences your decision on signalling, do you think? Well, if there's people behind me and mm. stuff, then I do it earlier. But yeah, yeah. It's I, I figured that's what you were going to say, because each time when you had done it late, there's been nobody around. Yeah. Um, the only, again, getting back to the assessment, and I know I keep saying that it's not about testing stuff, but if I'm sat here assessing your drive and I'm thinking, well, why haven't you signalled? I don't know that you've done it because there's nobody right. about. Right, but you know why I am. Yeah, I know why I have because I, I was I'm able to ask you that question, and examiner's not able to ask you that question. 
I mean, sometimes the, 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 the might, you know, but it's... So I think it's it's probably policy to have the same routine all the time. Right. Um, so I know you're checking, I think, well, there's nobody to benefit from it, but I think going from one road to another, that's probably best just to always use it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I know that's for the test and that's not what we're doing, but it's... It would be awful to be a great driver and fail that assessment because he, he didn't know what was happening. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Fab. <laughs> Over the roundabout, and we'll take the road to the right, please. Oh, this is going to have to pick a lot of speed up. Hmm. I know I'm evil, aren't I? That's why I stopped. I probably would, but oh, there's no way about. <laughs> but it is obvious where you're going there. We'll go right at the roundabout, please. So I like that, well, it, what it looked like was that you'd pick that blue car up and you'd made your mind up to go in behind him and pick your speed up to match his. Is that, is that what you were doing? What it felt like? If that was what you were doing, that was very good. Come on, gap, 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 gap. Yeah. Well done. And I think because you were looking at him, you shimmed him into signalling at the last minute. <laughs> Yes, it was nice. You kind of got yourself up the same speed as him, then just dropped him by, which is good. We checked the blind spots. <laughs> Round about a little bit further up, up here, we'll go. This ahead. is proper different. What's that? Is that new? What? Oh yeah, that's all new. Yeah. Mm. The new police station on the top as well. So we'll follow the road towards Acton, Featherston. Acton. Acton, is it? All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that's what I am. Oh yeah, sorry, that, yeah, that, that won't take you up further, yeah. yeah. I've confused the issue if I mentioned it. <laughs> Forgive me, Bobby. So what does that sign tell you? The... What was it? The cow one. Mm. Animals. Flow. Farm. Yeah. Ought to have lights laid like that. You know what it's for? Milking time, isn't it? That's nicely timed. I'm only sure I'm staying on the road, yeah. Coming to end of a. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to I say. I do, I do. <laughs> end of the hazard. Yes. Nearly there, halfway. Maybe. The general rule is the more pain there is, the more danger. Yeah. We'll follow the road ahead at the next round of it. So 
Now it's 30. It's so confusing. So it's not 30 anymore now, is it? What do you reckon? What tells you? Well, I don't know. It's not 30 anymore. It's 30. 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 Go left of the travel lights. Oh, I've never been here. Oh, yeah. This takes us into Fev. It's an awkward turn, that isn't it? a respectful distance, is he not? He's letting you get mm -hmm. on with it. We're going to keep following the signs towards the pony front. Normally, if you travel at 30 miles an hour, people are all over the buggy. Everybody's crossed. Oh! Oh, yeah, I totally forgot that. They can do that. They can go that way, can't they? When they can. I could have fibbed then and said, oh yeah, yeah, I can sense it. <laughs> yeah, I think they're digging the holes, putting new, a new gas man in or something. from the other traffic. <laughs> so how's that worked? Traffic lights coming through? I think when I change gear are a bit quick. Maybe, maybe. 
it is our tactic, so we're going to Of course it is. So you maybe could have done that in a second, but there wasn't really anything wrong with the way you did it. Not which one? When you, you know, when you're saying you changed gear a little early, that on the way into that last set of traffic lights, did you mean? No. Ah. Um. No, yeah. Not early, quick. Mm. Like too quick. You want to move enough. Oh well. Mm-hmm. But I could have even got up to third. Car, mm-hmm. we're telling me. I know mm-hmm. the traffic lights here. But why didn't you go up to third? You thought about it. Because the traffic lights here. The no traffic lights had changed. There was no point. Yeah. <laughs> Through, well, it's uh, if you have a look as well, look on the side, it's a three way control, so you're probably gonna have to wait for these ones now, oh, too. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that embryonic road rage there. You were up early this morning as well, going away, didn't you? Mm hmm. My friend Carl there. Uh, she can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's made me stall. <laughs> That's because I was looking at them then. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's surprised, isn't it? You don't have to lose much concentration before things go wrong. Let that be a lesson to you.
tiny little road and you get out and it's right at our junction because it's where vets are opposite there. Oh, right. Can I go up that? Uh, you can. Maybe I should have changed gear then. Maybe I should have done it when I was turning. Oh, you hear which one it is it? Oh. Uh, you can still go that way. Have I stalled? No. But a different layout there, isn't it? Oh my god. You still see it? I told this is why. Right. Can I still go this way? You can. What's it really? You're not causing that. Yeah, yeah. You're not causing any issues for anybody. If somebody was coming this way and turning right. Do you just call him a name? Yeah. You'll have to bleep it out. <laughs> we nearly had it. This is why, oh God. So what do we need to do here then? Nothing? Nothing, we're all right, aren't we? Yeah, of course we are. Still filled that. Oh. Well held. Don't worry, really. Does this still seem like a good idea? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, the it. kids are coming out and all, they're great. There you go, just the job. What more could you want? Oh, I'm panicking. So what do we do when we feel like that? Breathe. There you go. It's warm in here now. I didn't look. I can't believe I didn't look. Well, it wasn't held by the fact that I didn't know where you were going. <laughs> if I would known, I'd probably jump in earlier, so... There you go, we'll share the responsibility for that one. At least we didn't crash. At least no one died, or else. That's the truth. Oh, sorry. You know, just knock me about. Please don't run out of the road, you little buggers. So you've done the right thing by taking a steady, because you don't know what they're going to do. They're probably getting a bit giddy, because it's coming up to Christmas, and it's... I know Miss Anne, well, I we, never look. No, well, when, you, you know what I mean? Just expect. We've got the added complication these days that they're all on their phones as they're yeah. out of school. So they're not watching what they're doing, they just step out. So if you come to that junction again, what would you do different? Where's he going? Realise where what lane I need to be in. Because I just totally forgot that that were like that and I've never come across one of them before. Well, there you he's go. turning around because he's not allowed up here. Because he's realised it's a one-way street and he shouldn't be here. <laughs> Right, Experience okay. driver stall too. Did you just stall? <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, is he just parking or he something? Is, yeah. Right, I don't know. Sometimes there's only like two people that live up there or whatever. That's good. Just gotta be careful. Yep, good stuff. No, I was just, I was just curious because you can go both ways, obviously. It's difficult, this. Mm hmm I might wait till the lights go on for my kids. Possibly. That will give you a break. And they should, they should stop there, like, they should. There you go. Very good. Very good. Well, well worked out. Thank you. Thank you. You know, she should stop there anyway. <laughs> Signal. If it had set, signaled any earlier, they'd have thought I were going that way, and out, if it yeah. pulled out. Yeah, quite right. Quite right. So how was that? That... I can't believe it still crashed. That was really bad, he went really close, and he wasn't going to stop, was it? <laughs> well, he did, but you know what I mean, like... Well, the guy in the blue car, I, yeah. I, I couldn't work out what he was doing. He has priority, I don't know why, why he stopped there. Because he thought I were coming out, but then... Um, 
We need to stop talking when I'm talking, when okay. I'm trying to drive. Because it's just putting me off. Well, it can do. That's, that's, that's the thing. It's, it's okay on a road I'm like this. I'm thinking about something. I shouldn't. You know, like, I'm thinking about something I've done driving before and I'm forgetting about all the stuff. Well, it's all right on a road like this, but when you come up to somewhere where you've got to do a lot of things, then you know, that's my other half sometimes thinks I'm ignoring. If I come up to a difficult traffic situation, I go quiet. Them stop there where where they had priority. It, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Where there's plenty of room, it's okay. But if you force somebody to stop, then they've had to do that because you've done it. That's all right. Okay, that's bad. Then. It's bad driving. I'll slap my own lip. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't think it requires violence. But you, you could spend a few minutes on the naughty <laughs> it step. Requires before. violence. <sighs> but a little time on the naughty step, perhaps. <laughs> See, here's a different situation because the road is wide and that there, there is space for you both to get is through. Is there? Oh, I don't want to try it. That car is... Oh, my God, I want to try it. See, he's already moved over, so now there's room. It's OK to encourage them to move. It's not OK to force them to move, if that makes sense. Yeah. By far, the best way, of course, is, is just to not arrive at the same time, but that's not always possible. Like now, is he got priority? He's well, he's, not... he's making you move now, isn't he? So now you've been on the receiving end. And it is not good. <laughs> Give and take. My dad made a new fence. Ah, it blew right. down. We had a big uh, argument discussion with next door and they're saying that it's our fault, so but it won, it's in the deeds that it's their fault, but whatever. So my dad just built a new one. I'm sorry, I crossed my hands then. It's alright. Were well, you under control? Yes. That's all that matters. So you've been in some uh -huh. much, uh -huh. much more testing situations today. Mm -hmm. um, where well, we have hit other traffic, we've got traffic behind. We've done a lot of awkward, awkwardish roundabouts, lots of I different kinds of like junction. Three times, <laughs> the uh, well, well, we can't put you against the wall and shoot you for it. Yeah. How do you think it went? I've stalled a lot more than what I've today. Than, and I. Um, I yeah, I suppose, okay, a few more stalls than perhaps you would normally expect. Why do you think that is? There were because I can't let make it. Mm. And <laughs> I'm blaming it all on them. <laughs> yeah, it's all, yeah. it's, but you know why it happened? And when it happened, did you sort it out? Yeah. When we're on the hill there, and the car just started to roll back, What was your thoughts at that time? I'm going to roll back. Mm, you didn't though, did you? You just whipped the clutch up at the biting point and we were fine. 
that's pretty good. So we, that's the sort of thing that we're looking for. You're making decisions for yourself now, basically. Yeah. And when things aren't going right, you sort it out, which is fine. And we've had one or two situations where you think, hmm. So I hadn't said anything to you. I was just about to say to you when the guy with the blue car, what are you going to do about that? And you went, get the way, which is what he should have done in the first place. Because we're at a giveaway line, so I don't know what he was mm. thinking of. He put himself in danger there, because stopping there, somebody might have been coming in behind him. Bang. But I, th yeah, I, th I like what I saw. I th the decision We can practice that again, That's because good. obviously it's something I am properly Don't want to get a sure. thing about. <laughs> well, it, it's... Well, you, you saw once you got there that, you know, you... Well... But I'm, I'm glad that we did that, because... I'd have just gone home, normal way, and I wouldn't have bothered. Mm. I, I mean, I'd have come to the traffic lights, but that'd have been it. That's. Uh, I'm glad I did that. That's an awkward little junction. How do you think you cope with that? I could cope, but all right. Mm. I just didn't realise that. Obviously, I have to give way there. I didn't mm. realise. It's one of them funny ones. Mm. Well, we'll go over it next week again. Can do. Or, you know, or, 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 not next week because next week's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. Oh God. So have a reflect. Again, on uh, you know, again, what you've done good, what you you know, what you want to work on. Uh, so today was really just to sort of see what I need work on. Yeah, see what you feel you need work on. Um, it's one or two little bits and pieces that we're able to tidy up, you know, the, the, which is fine. It just Try all to, comes with practice, isn't it? But I think well, it, it does. I've done all right. You know, we all things that could have could have gone wrong today, and I haven't let it. There's there's certainly like that the situation with the blue car. That could have been disastrous. Yeah. Like, that could have all just come apart. But it didn't. And what you have to think about when you're analysing it, why didn't it come apart? It's because you made the right decisions. And you didn't. It's like when you, you know, you're saying to me, oh, you panicked. Panic to me would be you going like, ah! <laughs> yeah, I don't so, panic like that. Do I? I just flustered. it's all inside, like, yeah. oh my God. It's like a swan. <laughs> going like crazy on the water. But that's good. We, we've put you in a lot of more testing situations. That's more progressive driving. We've done faster roads. We've done faster roundabouts, mini roundabouts, traffic lights, pedestrian crossings, um, some difficult junctions. And that one that you chose for yourself at the end, that's, that's a real killer, that one. Um, but again, you'd worked it out that, oh, those kids are going to press that light, so that's going to give me a break that side. <laughs> this person should leave me enough space because there's a box junction. And as it turned out, everybody did what they should do. But sometimes they just drive onto that box junction and block you in. Not what you can do, lot, you Not can a lot do, you can do. A, That's good. It's good. It's we just need now to get the extra practice. because um, practice makes perfect, doesn't it? And it's so if there's things that you feel, well, I wouldn't mind a bit more of that or a bit more of that or wouldn't mind a go at that. Um, then that's fine. Um, and we'll just put it into the right shape for when that assessment comes and the job will be a good one. You can take me with you on test if you wish. Um it's okay, entirely up to you. Uh, I would suggest wait until the day and make your mind up just before they come out. I'll ask you the question, do you want me to go or not? Because you'll have a good feeling then. Um, everybody changes their mind <laughs> at the last minute. I don't want you to go. I'll not be offended if you say I don't want you to go. Because like, it doesn't matter. Um, just see how you feel on the day. Um, there's all sorts of ways we can practice to, to, to get ready for that, but you have to feel ready. Well, maybe... Um, See if we can organise. Maybe even another another instructor to do a mock test. If that's if that gives you a real test situation, yeah. and then somebody you've never met before gets in the car with a clipboard and doesn't speak to you in that jacket. Yeah. Well, they've they've stopped they've stopped with the black tie and the briefcase thing. And the Is corner. it high vis though? They always wear the high vis one. Yeah. yeah. It's in case they have to walk back. Is it? So they don't get run over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bless them. That's good. That's the test sheet that we'll use, so you can see how you're going to be marked. If you look in the Driving Skills Workbook, um, you've got one of those on the, yeah. in here. It gives you all the, all the guidance at the back as to what they're going to mark you on and what they're looking for. So that'll give you a bit, of, a bit of guidance so you can see what it is that they're looking for. And that might help you to, to think, well, okay, I'd like to do a bit more work on that or I'd like to do a little less. I'm okay with that. So that's the actual form. That's mm. a cut down version. So you can see how you're going to be assessed. Um, we're, we're all about... You How know, many miners are you allowed? You're allowed 15, which is quite a lot. Um, it'll also tell you what constitutes a miner, what's a serious, that kind of stuff. Yeah. If you make somebody change direction or speed, that's generally a serious. Um, so that you can get a, a, a miner across, which is serious or potentially potentially dangerous. Or a so basically, I should just let everybody go. 
Well, you've got to strike the balance then, because if you get too far that way, then you become hesitant and you're not making normal progress. Right. What they want to see is that you interact with other road users effectively. Right. And the stuff I was talking about today, when I said, well, what made you change your mind there? And it was because of the red car. And why didn't you go up to third gear? It's because you'd seen the light change. An examiner can pick that up, because these guys have been instructors beforehand, so that they know the game. Yeah. Um, he'll pick that up as well. So it's shown them that you know what you're doing. Um, and all we aim to do when you get there is just show them your best stuff. Because you'll be ready by the time we get there, you know, we'll make sure that you are. And all you've got to do is just do what exactly what you've done while we've been out.